Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Thank alaykum you very salam. much for the uh, talk. I have one question. Um, I think a lot of people, maybe not here, but a lot of people have this feeling whereby if we do certain actions, so we have this, we should be feeling some feel good feeling or something like that. So, what are some of the signs uh, that we should be aware of or that we should? I don't know whether they're signs or not, but with respect to the three things that you have mentioned here, what are some of the signs that, we, that show us that we are on the right way? Some of the signs that shows we are on the right way. Uh, if you have to evaluate these three things I mentioned, you have to do an uh, uh, evaluation of your heart in comparison to these three things. You have to ask yourself, am I witnessing Allah's favors on me or am I only looking at the problems Allah gave me? to ask yourself that. You know, I cannot answer that question for you. I can only answer for myself. It's called muhasaba. Uh, secondly, handing over your affairs to Allah. You have to ask yourself, am I handing over my problems to Allah or am I holding them onto my heart all the time? Uh, uh, thinking good of Allah. Am I thinking good of Allah or I have lost hope in Allah? Ya isu min rahmatillah. So Allah condemns in the Quran people who lose hope in Allah. So we have to do evaluation ourselves, it's called muhasaba. And many of the salihin, the salaf al-salihin, the sahaba, the tabi'een, ahlul bayt, awliya, they used to make muhasaba of themselves daily, uh, especially before they, they would say, if you can do it every hour, do it. If not, every, after every salah, and if not after every salah, then at least before you go to sleep. So they would say, before you go to sleep, they would do muhasaba of themselves. They take stock of themselves, they look at themselves and, and, and think if they are doing the right things, where is their heart with Allah. And I give you a story like that. There was a, there was a man, Rasulullah one day, he told the Sahaba, do you want to see a man from the people of Jannah? It's guaranteed Jannah, he's from the people of Jannah. He said, yes, Ya Rasulullah. So he said, this man that just came out of the mosque. So Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu an, he saw that man who went out of the mosque. He said, ah, this is from the Jannah, people of Jannah. Rasulullah said it, khalas. You know, the, the verdict is given. There is no appeal after that. He said, Allah, I, I need to learn from this man. So Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu an went to that man's house. He said, he was young that time, Abdullah bin Umar, a young guy. He said, you know, I ran away. My father threw me out of my house. I don't know where to sleep. I'm a Muslim. Can you give me a place to sleep? He said, okay. In Islam, the diyafa is for three days. You, you, every Muslim has a right on you for three days. Of course, in, you know, if a Muslim has nowhere to stay, now you, you give him, say, okay, you can stay here in my house. If, if you have a place, of course. So for three days, that is the haq that your brother has on you. After that, you can keep him or you can ask him to go. But at least three days, your brother has a haq on you. Uh, so he said, can I stay by your house for three days? He said, okay, yes, my yard is there and you know, you can sleep there, no problem. I mean, of course there was muhabba and trust and so on in those days between the ummah. So Abdullah bin Umar, he stayed for three days by the house of that man. After the three days, he said, thank you very much, now I will leave. He said, shukran, you can go. He said, but you know what, I want to tell you something. He said, what? I'm, I, I'm, I, I actually was not chased out of my house by my father. I lied to you. He said, huh? Then why, why are you in my house? Then why are you, what happened to you? He said, no, the reason I stayed by your house was I hear Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say you are a man of Jannah. So I wanted to learn what is it that you do that made you from the people of Jannah? What do you do? There must be something you do. So I wanted to observe. Look, today what we observe, we observe rich businessmen. What is he doing? He can make a lot of money. I can do the same. But you say, you go with the sheikh, ah, the haram, ah, the shirk, ah, the bid'ah, ah, the, you don't need a sheikh, you don't need anybody. Uh, do, do it yourself. You want to play football, what do you do? You go around with football players, you watch them, how he move, how he, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, World Cup, you know, watching every match. Some people are watching every match. Every single match, <laughs> what do you benefit? They are kicking balls, what are you benefiting from it? But okay, it's halal. As long as you make your salah and you, you work for your deen, if your heart is, as long as the ball is not in your heart, <laughs> it's in the TV, not in your heart. Wallahi, the football is in some people's hearts, yaakhi. 
Where I come from, some people, if there is a match, husband and wife give talaq to each other. Yes. In Medina and Saudi Arabia, the wife is supporting one team, the husband supporting one team. When the husband team lose and the wife team win, she is very happy. Husband say, I talaq you. Get out of my house. Oh, la, 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 la. They are playing football far away in Russia. You are talaq your wife here in Malaysia for what? What are they going to do for you? But why? Because it's in the heart. You can watch football as long as the ball is in the TV, in the field. Don't put it in your heart. Only Allah in our heart. These things, they are where they are, where they are is better. So, uh, but we, if you want to learn something, we watch. So Abdullah bin Umar, he spent three days, sohbat, what the Sufis call sohbah, in the company of this man, to see what makes him the man of Jannah. So the man, he said, Rasulullah said, I am from the people of Jannah. He said, yes. He cried. Subhanallah. He said, ya Allah. You know, I, I don't deserve, you know, I don't. So Abdullah bin Umar said, but you know what? I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> he said, what do you mean? He said, because I look at you every day. For, I'm watching you three days now. You are not doing anything more than what I do. <laughs> you don't do anything extra. I make five, uh, you make five times salah in the masjid. I go make masjid salah five times. You uh, spend some sadaqah, I give sadaqah. You this, every, uh, in the night time, I go sleep, you go sleep. You are not making any, anything extra. You are not fasting, I'm not fasting. Uh, in normal days. You fast in Ramadan. So he said, please, I ask you in Allah's name, what is it that you do that is special? He said, my brother, my life is what you saw. What you saw, that is my life. There is nothing special I do. I don't know what, uh, what else. I don't know anything special. He said, there must be something you do that I don't know. Then the man, he think, he said, well, there is only one thing I do, but it is something very small. Very, very small. It's not even an action. I don't even do anything. He said, what is it? He said, when I go to sleep, I look at my heart. And I forgive everyone and I have no grudges against any of the Muslimin in my heart when I go to sleep. I sleep with a clean heart. I only want good for everyone. I have no hate for anyone. I have no enmity with anyone. I don't want to fight anyone. I don't want to hurt anyone. I look at my heart and I sleep. And in my heart I have no malice against any Muslim. So Abdullah bin Umar said, Allahu Akbar. He said, Allah, that is what got you into Jannah. Didn't Allah say, la yanfa'u malun wala banun illa manat Allah bi qalbin salim. So uh, we have to do muhasaba, we have to check our hearts. It's not, am I making my five times salah every day? That is good, we have to do that. Am I, we, we check on these things, but we also have to check, uh, is my heart in the right place? Because if you make salah, assume everything, but your heart is not right, it will not help you. So we have to, 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 to revise, have a conversation with yourself. Have a talk with yourself every day, uh, inshallah.